In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add this wave liquid effect inside your text, just like Magnates Media in their video, The Disturbing History of Coca-Cola. Please subscribe for more tutorials like this. First, let's add a new solid. This will be the background. Let's make the solid red. You can pause the video and copy the color code. Next is to add a paper texture to our composition. Head to pexels.com and search for paper texture. Currently, they only have about six paper textures here that you can pick from. So let's pick this one and download the full HD. And it's also completely free. You can pick any one you want and play around with it. Once that has been downloaded, import it into After Effects and put it on top of the solid layer. Next, change the blend mode to overlay and set the opacity to 75%. Next, we will add this old film grain overlay. I downloaded this particular one a long time ago, so I can't remember the website where I got it from. But to get something similar and free, search on Google for 18 free film grain overlays for video editors and filmmakers and click on the first link. On this Motion Array website, you can find a bunch of old film grain overlays that you can pick from, and it's all free, you can download them and use them in your videos. Next, add the old film footage overlay and set the blend mode to overlay and set the opacity to 43%. Next, let's add an adjustment layer and set the blend mode to multiply. Under the Effects and Preset tab, search for Noise Effect and drag it onto the Adjustment layer. Set the amount of noise to 13%. After that, we can add our text, set the size to 270px, and align the position so it is in the middle of the comp. I'll be using the Poppins fonts extra bold for this tutorial. Once you're satisfied with the size and the position of your text, duplicate your text. Remove the fill, leaving only the stroke for the texts on top. After that, add a solid layer. You can make it whatever color you want. I will be using white. Drag the solid layer in between the two texts layer. Adjust the solid so that it is aligned with the middle of the text. Next, search for the wave warp effects on the effect and presets tab. Add it to the shape layer. Set the wave type to sign, the wave height to 42, the wave width to 240. Leave the direction at 90 degrees. Set the wave speed to 0.4 and set the pinning to none. After that, set the bottom text layer track mat to alpha mat. And that is how you add a wavy effect inside your text. Finally, let's add another adjustment layer. Then go to the Effects and Presets tab and search for the Vignette effect to add a bit of shadow to the edge of the clip. Drag the CC Vignette effect to the adjustment layer. Set the amount to 160 and the angle of view 50. So you can play around with the effects and adjust them to your preference. Please don't forget to subscribe for more.